Does the Neo Pro run like this on your computer? Of course, you can buy a new one. But why if you can do these steps to make it run smoothly? Set the Neo Pro as a high priority program in the task manager. Simply press Windows plus R, type in task MGR, and in the details tab, find Adobe Premiere Pro. Then right click, set priority, and select high or real time. Note that this will make other programs run slower while Premiere is running. Now, we'll be prioritizing our GPU to use more power when editing. Go to settings, graphics settings, browse, and find Adobe Premiere Pro on your computer just like so. Use the lower playback resolution. Simply look for this little box with an arrow that says full under your playback and switch it to half or quarter. It will simply divide your playback res by two or four. Depends on what you select. So that means it is not for the exported file. Pause the media encoder queue during playback. You can do that by going to the preferences tab and here you have to look for playback and just check the box right here. It will pause the encoding engine that works with many Adobe apps when you play anything in the playback. Exactly under that setting there will be an option to disable mercury transmitting. I'd recommend turning it off if you don't use it because that's free performance. It's basically a setting that allows you to show the playback on a different monitor full screen. Delete the cache memory. Under the media cache preferences you'll be able to see this delete button. It will free up some space on your drive and it will increase performance. If you want to, you can set the cache files to delete themselves after a certain period of time or after an amount of cache gigabytes passes, use global effects mute. It simply disables all effects when selected. You can find it in the button editor. Click and drag it just like so. Now we'll be able to turn off and on effects when you click this button. Turn off automatically refresh growing files. In the media tab, under preferences, you can disable this option and you will gain performance when you do it. Note that if you use these formats, do not disable this setting. Using proxies is something that might really help if you're working with high resolution footage or if 1080p is an overkill for your computer. It takes some time to set up, so do it if you're really desperate. Simply locate the video file you want to make a proxy of, right click, create proxies, and here you can adjust the settings. Next, Adobe Media Encoder will show up, and after the proxy files are created, you can go back to Premiere. In the button editor, locate this toggle proxies button. Just drag it over like this, and you'll be able to switch between the original file and the proxy. What this does is it creates a low res copy of the selected footage, uses it while you edit your video, and then goes back to the original when you decide to export. Pretty cool. The next tip is to simply keep your drivers up to date. All the drivers can cause unwanted lag spikes and many other problems. Adjust your computer's power plan to more performance. Go to control panel, power options, and switch it to high performance. This will use more power though. Allocate more memory for Premiere Pro. Go to Preferences, then Memory, and here you're going to choose how much RAM you're going to leave for other apps and how much RAM you're going to leave for Premiere. I also recommend switching the option called Optimize Rendering to Performance. Another simple fix is to close all background apps and processes because they eat up a lot of RAM and slow the CPU's performance. 